So today we're looking at a trio of BEM wireless speakers. These sit on a base and the base provides the power and then you can actually charge the speakers up and once they're charged you can put them all over a room and they'll provide sound and they send the signal back to the base and the base gives them the charging power and handles the blue tip and all of that. The problem is that these speakers while they are cute, are completely self-contained. So when this speaker, which is covered with cat fur, loses its ability to recharge, then it becomes a paperweight. So all of these speakers, first one of them died and wouldn't recharge, but the other two would still recharge, and then the second one died. And now at this point, all three of these have died to the, uh, meaning that they won't recharge anymore when you sit them on the base. And definitely, it's not something with the base charger units, because when I had only one of them working, I could move it to all three of the spots and it would still charge. It's that the actual battery inside these is unable to hold a charge anymore or take a charge. So my question is, how does one open one of these things to see if the battery is uh, able to be replaced? So if you look at this, well, first the sides. The sides are all some plasticky stuff and if there's a seam in there I don't see it. So you've got this side then there's a uh, plus minus volume thing there but it seems like that's all pretty much one piece and then it's this bottom part which is a softer plastic and then the charging spot and then the on off power button and then there's a thin clear plastic border around here and there is a seam in there. So what I am going to try to do, since this isn't working anyway, so it's not like I'm going to make it any worse, is see if I can wedge a screwdriver. We'll try this first without the hammer. <laughs> you can see where I'm going to be going with this. Let's see. All right, so I can definitely get a screwdriver in there. The question is, will this come up? It's probably glued to the inside part. I do see that that is lifting. I can get that under there. Oh, oh wait, I almost felt like I had it there. All right, that's some charging. Well, maybe what I need is multiple screwdrivers. So I can get it from multiple sides. I'm going to stay up. It seems like I'm breaking away like rubber cement or something that was leaving these things sealed to each other. But the fact that, yeah, I can see that it's maybe like a quarter of an inch or something. And undoubtedly, with that being a charging unit, there's wires in there that are connecting it to the battery part, which is probably causing it to resist. So as part of this, it may pull apart the batteries from the charging wire, which, you know, isn't bad, because then it could just reconnect those afterwards. So you can see the rubber cementy glue is coming loose in here, which I consider a good sign because it seemed to indicate. All right, so see that side seems a little harder to get in. I'm just trying to see. I wonder if I could get this whole inner piece to lift up. Seems to be connected pretty sturdily. I wonder if this whole outer white thing is just a shell of some sort, because I can get this down there and there's still a solid wall on the inside there. So if I can't get a lid up, I don't know if it would help to try to get this entire plastic white part off the edges of it. 
but there would be no way to like push that out because <laughs> that's all pretty connected in there. I suppose if one didn't care about the white plastic outside, one could take a box cutter to it and cut off one edge of it and then see into the inside. Yeah, see, so I can get all this rubber cement or whatever we want to call it. It's connecting this edge here. And it does seem like there's one side that's easier to get to. But it does also seem like there is an entire inner shell of clear plastic and that this whole piece got sat down inside the outer white shell, which may mean that my hope of getting the lid off easily without Dremel tooling it is going to be invalid. Yeah, so it looks like the plastic goes down on the inside a fair ways. More than I thought. I thought I could just lift the lid part off. But it looks like that part is fairly well connected. And as far as I can tell, it does go down further. And then it ends up being darker. I am lifting it. So it is lifted up higher there. Which then makes me wonder if I kept wiggling around the edges. Oh, but this side isn't lifting up over here. No, oh, this is looking like it's not going to get very far. I'm definitely I'm just trying to pull it out through raw. Oh, wait. Let's just try this. So what I'm trying is just peeling off the silver front. All right, so that gives us some information at least. So I'm just peeling off this. Ooh, are those screws? Ho, 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 ho. Let's find a screwdriver. I don't know if it's doing anything functional down there. It does feel like I'm getting some resistance. You'd have to believe that the screw can't be that long, <laughs> given how short this box is in general. No, it definitely feels like I'm getting resistance on the screwdriver, as if there's a, see, that one came loose a lot easier. I wonder if the other one had some glue on it or something. Screws out. I think these guys might be a little stuck. Let me see if I can convince them to come free. get two out, but the other two turned a little initially and then feel like they've gotten stuck. Let's see if I can get them to 
I guess maybe threads have stripped or something like that. Could be that all of my screwdriver work before got them jammed a bit. Hmm. That's odd. Now when I look in there, it looks like three of them are gone. Did I knock one loose and lose track of where it went? Oh, yeah. All right, so I am down to just one. Well, that's good. That's progress. All right, let's try to get this last one out. screwdriver. Oh, let's, let's try this screwdriver. Oh, crap. The screwdriver has too thick of a head. I suppose now that I know the secret, I could open up another one of them. Just hate to give up on this way. This one three quarters of the way done. I suppose we're just trying to do a proof of concept here. reason that one only has three of the screws ready to come out right here. Now that we figured out this whole thing. Alright, let's see if we can get all of these screws out. That one seemed to come out pretty easy. Oops, sorry. to be pointed. Oh, I felt stuck again. <laughs> Am I going to get all of these with three of the screws out and one of the screws stuck? screws out. See if we can get these last two screws out. Well at least having the screws have problems on this other one gave me a little more faith that I didn't completely cause problems for it by Wheeling on it with the screwdriver. Nope, so on this one, two of the screws won't come up. Alright, let's try number three. Feels like it's up. See, for whatever reason, two of them come up easily, and then the third one feels like it's stuck more. I wonder if they blew some of them. It does feel initially like I'm getting it going. to that one. Let's see if I can get these last two. 
That seems suspicious that in all of them there's one or two that not only does it feel stuck, but the screwdriver feels stuck when I'm in there working at it. Alright, so what's different about that last screw? Well, it looks just like the top of the other screws. And there isn't anything on the outside to indicate something different about that one. Completely baffled. I'm trying to see if something feels different in there. Maybe it's just longer. Look, it's getting stuck. Like there's glue in there or something. All right, just to be sure. That one's not coming up. This one has two that are in that same state. So let's see, in this one, it's the top left. In this one, it's the top right. And in this one, it's the top right and the bottom right. So it's not even like the same screw that's causing problems in all four. It's a completely It seems random. Random location. And it feels like it's like the screwdriver is biting into it. So it's not like it feels like it's spinning on top of the screw. But maybe the screw has stripped the plastic and it won't come out. Video part one has made some progress, and now I'm going to have to get some additional tools to be able to get those final screws out to be able to take the next step. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I will come back with some additional tools and try to get those remaining screws out so that I can open up the insides of these and see if I can replace the battery.